Grandma's Grandma's kitchen. 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 There's a fiddle tune and a wooden spoon while she's stirring and a singing. There's friends leaving our family land and then the phone's usually ringing. No matter who you are or what you've done, everything's forgiven. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank and ain't it good to be in Grandma's kitchen? Grandma's kitchen. Hello everybody, Mary Janet here from Tunes and Wooden Spoons and welcome back and thank you for joining us for another Sunday. Today is going to be a great day. I have three wonderful guests that are full of Celtic music and Scottish music and Irish music and great feet on a couple of them as well and you'll see some steps a little bit later on. So today um, I have my little reminders here. And uh, I, I just wanted to make special mention. I want to say a big thank you to Ann Young, who had me for tea at the cottage that she's renting here in Port Hood. And we had banana loaf and tea, and she's one of uh, my followers here in Tombs and Wooden Spoons. So it was really awesome to get to meet her face to face. And also, um, I just want to say a public happy 54th wedding anniversary to Margie and James Benoit. Uh, they had their wedding anniversary on Thursday and we were in touch. I was in touch with them and um, I don't know them personally, but Margie is a great follower of Tunes and Wooden Spoons and her daughter-in-law was staying here in Port Hood at the RV park, I think. And so we wanted to, to send a special message out to them. So 54 years, that's, that's a pretty awesome number of years to be together. And this past week, uh, grandson Ivor and grandson Charlie were in uh, Campa Hamish up in Hawthorne Road here in Port Hood and they went to, Gael it's a Gaelic camp for kids seven to 12 years old. They learned how to sing, they learned how to, uh, you know, do, do everything. They gathered eggs, they, looked, they fed the pigs, they did crafts, they had a tug of war, and they just had a wonderful program where these kids could just learn from the earth and, and on a farm. And they snuck in the Gaelic words and they were learning uh, all about their history and uh, having a great time. And of course it was the hottest week in history, I think, here on Cape Breton Island. But they made out great and we had the closing on Friday and they had a little play, so it was just, wonderful and actually um, Ivor uh, they got a new puppy a little golden doodle and he's like nine or ten weeks old and we got a video of, of Ivor without any coaxing teaching the dog to sit in Gaelic uh, Jinsui or Jinsui I forget now how you say it myself I'm not that good but the dog sat he taught the dog how to sit and he'd got a treat so you know it's possible so think about that Bernadette has these camps uh, now every summer and uh, on their farm in Hawthorne so it was great to have the little ones for the whole week and uh, that's just something that is very special to uh, get that language back into uh, reality here so today today uh, we have three wonderful guests I'm gonna turn this music down my favorite Falcha CD and uh, today we have, from Antigonish, we have John and Bill Pellerin. Most of you probably know the Pellerin brothers for their uh, wonderful feet and step dancing abilities, but of course, uh, they also are musicians. And they brought along a very good friend, a very talented man from Antigonish as well, Troy McGilvery. And uh, we have to be done at 3.30 today because he is playing at the Red Shoe Pub, so uh, that's a great thing. Who are you playing with there today? Betty Lou and Kimberly. Betty Lou and Kimberly Fraser. So that's going to be a dandy afternoon. Okay, so I have convinced the step dancing duo to help me here in the kitchen. And so we're going to gather them in here beside me. Come on in. <laughs> this is Bill. 
<laughs> and this is John, and I consider them great friends. They're wonderful people. See them at concerts. Remember when we did that thing with Natalie? Yes. And the step dancing extravaganza? I was about 40 or 50 pounds lighter, of course. <laughs> I could lift my feet then. <laughs> but I always say to Bill, we're not 21 anymore. <laughs> Our wind is not uh, for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is this is going to be fun. And yeah. we are going to make butter tart squares today. So you guys up for the challenge? Up for the challenge. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, first thing we do, we set our oven to 350 and I'm going to wash my hands and get these fellows to clean up a little bit too. <laughs> so here we go. This is, this is like going to school, right? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Doing what the teacher tells you to do. Okay. There we go. So who do we have here today? <laughs> Holly McIntosh. He's laughing at me. I actually, uh, a couple of the grandkids are here. Hi from Carroll in Valley, Colchester County. And uh, Carmel Sochi or Soki, I don't know how to say that name. Anyway, Donna Ellis, I see a name, Donna Ellis. I wonder if she's from Wakagama. And Susie, hi Susie Amblin. And lots of great people coming on board today. Thank you very much. So, guys, we are starting off with the shortbread base. Now, I made these squares earlier this week and took the picture off it. And in th that recipe, I used pecans or pecans, whatever you... What do you guys say? Pecans. Pecans? pecans? Yeah. Pecans. pecans. They're all fancy. You're fancier if you say pecans. <laughs> the pecans. <laughs> it's not going to matter today, though. But right? it's not going to matter today <laughs> <Pecans>. because <laughs> my grandson Aiden is here, and he's the boy with the severe uh, nut allergy, and so we're not even going to have them on the table. So we have a choice of either Thompson's raisins or uh, currants. Whatever, uh, but you use whatever you want. You can use walnuts, you can use currants, you can use chocolate chips, and whatever. Oh, Ivor, come on over and say hello to everybody. Come on over. Yeah, yeah. I'm jealous of the hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ivor. Say hello. Hi. And how do you say how do you say hello in Gaelic? What what what, what about was it Felcha? Yeah. <laughs> say Felcha. 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 <laughs> And what were you saying to to your dog Dougie? Soy. Soy. Yeah, he he was teaching to him to sit down in Gaelic. That's wonderful. <clears throat> and you even got some tattoos. Did you want to ask Grandma something on live television? What? Um, wants popcorn. He does. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> they must be going to watch a movie. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're going to watch a movie downstairs. Okay, so we're going to get started right away with the shortbread base. And the shortbread base, uh, you, I'm sure you already have the recipe. I posted it. It was supposed to come on at 1.30 or it's on my website on tunesandwoodenspoons.com under the recipe section. And you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And that's where I post them every week. So we're going to start up with one cup of flour. So uh, I'm going to get behind you. I'm going to see how these fellows oh actually do this. So I'm going to. Going see to... A fight. <laughs> <laughs> we'll a see. We'll see. Uh, so. One cup of flour. Uh, you want to put it in this bowl? Yep. And I want to see how you measure. Oh, yeah. He's, in, he's just doing it the right way. Good job. <clears throat> and it's one cup. Are you sure it's not two cups? Did it say one cup? Or did it say it's, it's, it's one. one. It's one. Depends on who's making it. One cup. This is why taste the same as Mary Janet's. And the quarter cup of white sugar. So give your brother something to do. Yeah, no. I'll take the whole top off yeah. it. And I, I usually what I'll do is I scoop it like that and I yeah, run my finger good. off the top to so level it off. Probably should be doing it with a knife, but I don't. And that's right. Hands, yeah, you washed your hands. You're good. Yes, a pinch of salt. How much is a pinch of salt? 
depending on the size of the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> the pinch, a pinch is about an eighth of a teaspoon. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it's about an eighth of a yeah, teaspoon. And I, I do have a measure, if you really want to measure it, I rarely do. Uh, that's a quarter. Which you take down. There's an eighth. Just out of curiosity. <clears throat> Right. Perfect. Good stuff. And now um, you're going to stir that up. Somebody is going to stir it up. This fellow's got his hands behind his back all locked, I doesn't know. she? <laughs> <laughs> and well, he's I making a mess. I, think, <laughs> I have to do that. that. That's a sign of a good cook. That's it? right. Jeez, yes, it that. is. <laughs> Okay. okay, and then you're going to add a half a cup of salted butter. Now, I suppose we didn't have to put the salt in, but you know what? I yeah. don't buy anything but salted butter. Yeah, that's right. I just don't. Same and again. I still use the salt in the recipe, but some people are very particular about their salt intake and all mm -hmm. of that, and I appreciate that. But here in this house, We're you're lucky to have day. butter at all <laughs> some days. We're going so this is a half a cup that I've had out, okay. and it's kind of at room temperature, slightly room temperature. Okay, here you go. I'm not doing a thing today. <laughs> and now, who's going to get their hands dirty? And you're... Okay, okay, I'll take that. And you're going to mix that up. And yeah, and you, you, make, you mix it up until you can kind of squash it together and it kind of stays. But you don't want to mix it so much that Overdo it forms it. into a ball. Okay. Yeah. That'll be too much. So... Um, well, he's much, much daintier than I am. Yeah, but we only have an hour show. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Troy's got to be at the red shoe. You have to be at the airport. I've got to be at our session tonight in Anaganish. So what I'll session get. is that now? Uh, we started up uh, last week at Candid Brewery in Anaganish. Where is, where is Candid? It's on College Street. It's actually in the old uh, casket office building. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, beautiful okay. spot. So we had our first session uh, last Sunday night. We played from 7 to 9. So Excellent. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to take over here, guys, okay. just for, for a minute. How's everybody doing? East Barrier Lake, B.C. God bless you, Joe Mack. I, I, I really feel for the people of B.C., especially the interior, where these... Uh, uh, fires are and the temperatures unbearable. We had a, a, just the hottest week. It was just crazy. Yesterday. Yes. Yeah. And Andy Anish gets it yeah. hotter than here. Yeah. I don't know, is it because you're in uh, kind of a valley. valley, right? Okay. Now, look, can you, can you with your hand put that down so that they can see the bowl a little bit? Okay, that looks good. Okay, because I want to show yep. you what I mean by crumbly, but not into yeah. a ball. So, oh yes, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. just coming together, and if you do Very this, nice yes, yeah, it, it'll stick together like shortbread, yeah, right? Exactly. So we don't want to make it so that it has no choice, and sometimes that can happen. I like, I liked doing the show using the simplest uh, utensils possible. Yeah. Now, mm. I do have a food processor and I do have a big fancy mixer, but I never use them on the show because I want everybody to be able to make it. So if you are using a food processor or you're using one of those fancy mixers, be very careful because it can just go right into a ball and come all together. Okay, now we're gonna cook the base and then we're gonna have some music while this is in the oven. So if you guys want to go and get ready, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this into um, the pan, just like that. Excuse me, don't me, you just press. I'm just, no, I'm going to do this. I just want to get a spread. Oh. And I am using just a little spatula, and I'm just going to press it down like that. Okay. Now, this, this uh, pan, of course, you know how I love my parchment paper. And uh, press it down a little bit. Spatula. 
It's fa I know it's great. Yeah. And guess what? It's Pamper Chef. Tammy sells Pamper Chef, and of course, I own everything. <laughs> and I, I, I'm just going to prick it with a fork a little bit, uh, just so sometimes you'll get little places where it'll puff up a little bit. Here, I think that's good. Yeah. And so this is going into a 350 uh, oven for 20 minutes or until it's brown around the edges. And then we'll just cool it and then we'll come back and we'll do the topping. Now just again about the pan, uh, it's an eight by eight square pan. And I love using the parchment paper because when this is cooled enough and done with everything in it, you can lift this whole thing out very carefully and put it on your cooling rack after it's cooled in the pan until room temperature and it's just great then then you can just pull down the sides use a pizza cutter and and you won't get sometimes you get those edges and it's not great but yeah. parchment paper is the best thing ever created ever created so guys there we go there's my sweet fellas right there <laughs> And uh, so I'm going to put Bay it in. One. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting it in the oven for 20 minutes now. See if you can see that up close. And just prick it with the fork a little bit. Oh, we've got messages coming in on that phone. You do. That's all right. Okay, now. Somebody I'm going commented to go into the living room uh, with you guys and some, talk you to you for a few seconds, and I'll better. turn off my music. Yeah. Somebody commented that they purchased the tool. Did they? Yeah. The works. Wow. It really is. <laughs> Honest to God. I mean, everybody has things that they they like, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, of course, with Tammy selling it, and, and, and she gets free stuff or yes. discounts and stuff like that, and she shares that with mom. So, I my kitchen, she used to sell it like 20 years ago, oh, wow. and now she's back into it again since I started this. Great. And so, all of these things are pampered chef like these dry measures where you, where you level yeah. it off the top i love that yeah. and the liquid measures they they're mm -hmm. sloped so that when you're filling it up to you know four oh, tablespoons you or a quarter see. cup you you can see instead of having to look mm, on the yes. side just little things like that and it's uh, shaped and, and to, yeah to pour it yeah exactly great, yeah. yeah i just love those things nice Sponsored little things <laughs> <laughs> so anyway we're going to go into the living room Hello, Bernice, from somewhere there. I missed that, of course. So, I'm going to shut that off. There we go. David White, he says, oh my hi, God. you guys. <laughs> Ask him when he's coming home next. When are you coming home next, David White? I'd like to see your feet, too. Hi, Charlie Clemens. Somebody's asking about Charlie Clemens. Do you know Charlie Clemens? He's a great singer from the Glace Bay area, Glace Bay area but he's from, I'm not sure, just where he is right now. Mm -hmm. Now... Uh, this here? Yeah, let's turn this on for the music. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm going to put that there so that the people can hear you, fellas. So who's going to play first? <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> we won't let's do it together. Looks like well, Troy is holding the, uh, the, the fiddle. So these guys, there's Troy McGilvery. Just extraordinaire. His whole family is so talented. And uh, his, his wonderful sisters are, have, have so Kendra lives in Antigonish. Halifax. Halifax. Halifax, amazing fiddler. His sister Sabra lives, we've got her in Cape Breton. And she's beautiful dancer, beautiful Highland dancer, beautiful step dancer, beautiful teacher of all of those dance styles. And... Um, just she's just got everything going doesn't she so anyway just how music lives within those families it's it's a beautiful thing uh yes i see some comments here she's going to comment but anyway that's all right so john you live in antigonish you work for the town of antigonish 
By law enforcement, he's the guy that puts tickets on your cars if you don't <laughs> park in the right spot. <laughs> and um, uh, John, uh, we're, we're, we, we, although we have a piano here, we're missing a chord. Mitchell, if you are watching and you have a chord over at the house, will you bring it over so that we will have this? You might have a sleep bomb if it comes over a little later. <laughs> okay, so... Um, let, let her go. Yeah, let her, let her go. Be, let her I'll rock and it. roll. that speaking of that i am guilty of that right next to my glasses so i can see this you know so often we style our music cape breton music do you guys ever get mad at that no, and they're not, not going to say that to me right here but we're bad for saying cape breton music but really it's northeastern nova scotia where the people yes. settled and you know uh what's his name um Piper guy, John Gibson, that wrote the, yeah, you know, exactly. he did the whole thing on Northeastern Nova Scotia. And I said, how well done that yes, was exactly. to, to recognize that. Because we just kind of say that, yeah. but we don't mean it. Because 
any Kanish is just a hotbed of 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 that kind of music that was that was um, loved and passed on through exactly. the ages, you know. So and that's what you're saying, you know, yeah, well, less than a lot. A hundred percent. A lot of people came out from Pictou Brennan too. Pictou yeah. County, was Pictou County too, right? big so, time, yeah, yeah, yeah. really big. Um, so tell me, we'll start all the way over here, Troy. Sure. God Almighty. How long have you been playing the fiddle? How many times have you answered that? <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> oh gosh, 30 years? 30 say. years? Yeah. Well, for a long time I didn't play. I only played in my room. Like, the Red Shoe was my first uh, kind of fiddle gig in wow. 2002, I think it was. Get out of here. But I played, you know, all growing up, all through the years. But I mostly played piano. Right, um, yeah. right. I remember being at the Red Shoe. I don't know if it was your first, second, or third time there, but you played a set um, of tunes, and um, oh my God, it had to last twenty minutes, and it was the very first standing ovation that ever happened at the Red Shoe <laughs> the Pub. Shoe. Do you re do you remember that? You wouldn't remember that. I don't. But but the management said it's the very first time that anybody got a standing ovation. That must be why he's playing there today. <laughs> <laughs> Having a bag. Honest to God. That's funny. But I, oh, I, re I remember that. It was absolutely incredible. Like it was just there was just oh, wow. it was amazing. It really was, and I remember <laughs> that very clearly. And it maybe that was when you played there for the first time. I have no idea, but uh, it's a memorable memory he left his mark he did he did leave his mark and so did you all uh, take lessons from stan as well is kendra and kendra and saber did okay um but i didn't i was younger uh, so I, I took lessons from kendra actually her and joan door started teaching oh, okay together, uh in lanark where we grew yes. up so i took lessons there i used to go and Light the stove at the old school and warm the room up before the people would come. And so I just would be there for the day. Oh, wow. And uh, so that's how I started. And then I taught with Kendra. And then uh, I sort of took over her students when she left. Uh, she moved to Halifax uh, after she graduated. Mm -hmm. And sort of that's sort of just, you know, how it happens. Kind of yeah. innocently, you know, yeah. no, no plan. <laughs> Yeah, but you weren't forced into it by parents or whatever you're no, suggested. No. It was just something you oh, did. Oh, yeah, it was right? just around and we did it. And, like, you know, all these, I heard everybody playing. You know, I was a, I was a child going to Stan's lessons when all this crew was there. Yeah. So I was around it. I was there, but I wasn't playing at that point. Right. Yeah. Okay. So now on to Mr. John. John Pellerin. It's Pellerin, not Pellerine. Pellerine. Pellerine is fine. Pellerine is fine. <laughs> yeah. I, we we have a we have a, a good friend of our our son's. Uh, his name is Kevin Pellerin, and uh, and how he has this saying. I wish I could remember it. It's it's somebody will say Kevin. This is Kevin Pellerine. Pellerin to you. Yeah. He says back to them, <laughs> and just in joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he <laughs> he would rather the Pellerin. <laughs> yeah. So you don't have an e on the end. No. Okay. No. But you get you get called a lot of things, but <laughs> Pellerin is good. And Pellerin is good. I don't okay. mind that. <laughs> exactly. I'll take that any day. <laughs> so tell tell me about your life growing up with this brother of yours here. We'll get him in the picture oh, too. <laughs> well, we both uh, started dancing. I was actually four. Bill was six, and uh, it was actually a uh, it was an ad in the local paper, which was the casket. And uh, my mother had seen it and uh, called Marty. It was Marty Dunn uh, yes. that was teaching. <clears throat> and at that time, uh, her classes were full. And it was about two weeks later that mom received a call that she had an opening. And uh, so we got into the classes and started from there. And then with Phil, uh, Stan started teaching lessons. And I was in grade five. And taking up taking, the fiddle. Taking fiddle lessons. I mean, our father played fiddle, and uh, there was always music yeah. in the house. And uh, and once we get uh, doing the dancing and going to concerts and uh, performing, and then seeing other you know musicians, uh, very fortunate uh, in our time to have uh, 
been around the people like Buddy McMaster and the Jerry Hollands and the John Morrises and you know to you know Arthur Muse and just amazing amazing, amazing oh, musicians you know, yeah you know, and, and some of these uh, performers are gone now but to have been able to yeah. be around them and experience their music and become friends with them uh, has been very rewarding for for what we do oh, I'm very thankful for it yes. I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Well, just... I like this tap dancing. I mean, look at yourself. Oh, pff. right. So, well, let's, yeah, yeah, it's been a blessing to me uh, the the, the teaching and well. all of that, and I I loved I loved every moment yeah. of of the teaching. Yeah, yeah. I preferred it to being up on the stage. Really? I preferred teaching okay. to being up on the stage, yeah. and the only time I really enjoyed the stage was when. My children I were just, learning, and they were little, and they yeah. were cute yeah, and yeah. funny, and didn't matter how say, many mistakes they yeah, made, yeah. they were just all up there. Family affair. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, so and, yeah. uh, uh, like, I, I was telling Wendy McIsaac on her <clears throat> her little interviews that she does, that when we did that a couple of weeks ago, I guess, mm -hmm. that Mitchell... Uh, Brennan's one job for the three minutes that we were to dance was to look after Mitchell. And, of course, dragged him out of the house, and he had a pair of jogging pants on with a hole in the knee, rubber boots, a dirty T-shirt, and his little hat on backwards. And he wasn't yet two years old. And Brennan had to look after him outside the rink in Mabu for, like, three minutes. And we're in the middle of our performance, and up the stairs comes Mitchell and goes, in front of us and in the rubber boots and he's bouncing and doing some little thing around and he stole the show yeah. what's wrong with that that's where it all started yeah, that's where it all started honest <laughs> god yeah right yeah. so what do you have to offer Bill oh, what stories do you have to tell I'm so, the quiet one <laughs> Uh, behind the scenes. Not. Yeah, yeah. Not. <laughs> no, enjoyed every minute of it, really. So yes. did you pick up the fiddle at all? Did you try that? Yes, I actually took lessons from Stan, too. Yeah? Yes. And but are you a closet yes, fiddler? Yes, I, I just, I to still do it. I home. still enjoy it. You're an Alec McMaster, are you? exactly it. That's right. <laughs> we, I'm even to the big fellows. <laughs> i got to tell a, a little story uh, with his playing of, of the fiddle. Uh, we went to... Uh, uh, with a trip with the Cape Breton Fiddlers uh, to the Maxwell Games a few years ago. Yeah. And uh, Bill came along and uh, took his fiddle with him. And on the bus, uh, coming home, uh, before you get off the bus, maybe a half hour before, uh, that person had to go to the front of the bus and, and play the fiddle. So uh, they said, Andy Ganesh is, is next. We were up around yeah. Glasgow. and. Uh, yeah reached up and I passed Bill his fiddle and he said, what are you doing? He's sitting on the bus. And I said, you're playing? And he says, I don't think so. And I said, oh, yes, you are. And he's like, what? No. And I said, I wouldn't ask you if I didn't think you could do it. I said, we'll go up. And so the two of us went up and we played tones. And oh, and yeah, good. Yeah, see? Yeah. But there, one other part of the story was when we were <laughs> in Maxwell. Uh, at night, we'd go back to the room uh, to play music. You know, they'd have a piano set up and we'd play you know, fiddle and have drinks and Bill walked in with his fiddle case and everybody got kind of talking, oh God, he's got his fiddle with him and he opened it up. <laughs> so he opened it up and he had his bottle of rum inside there and his mix <laughs> and a glass and everybody said, I want that kind of a fiddle case. <laughs> and boy, can I play. <laughs> Oh my God, that's that's beautiful. Yeah. That's a good it's story. Still was on the road, right? Yeah. <laughs> Left um, on the road. Yeah. Honest to heaven, still, th there's so much goodness that happens at events yes. like that where you get together behind the scenes yeah, exactly. and and it's it just, just makes you love and everybody and you yeah. know something about it. and It just brings you all closer. Yeah, exactly. And and uh, it's, it's been quite a uh, quite a venture, really, as oh. far as you know from being the young right up to present day yeah. and, and the shows we've done and, and the family, you yeah, know. That, that whole yeah, connection yeah, is so just, important. It is, you know. And our parents were such supporters. Yes, you know, yeah. It was never forceful or... Yeah, you know, and your mom passed away recently, well, yeah. in the last so couple of years? Two years, yeah. yeah she and she was a, she big was a really big, big part. part. I know, yeah. I, I see your posts on Facebook yeah. and remembering her and yeah. um, she'd be... 
Yeah. Loving yeah, it should be every loving moment this of today. your life. You have she to know would. all about it and watch it. Yeah. And care all about it. She has some better cups. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Well, listen, could we have another tune? And then this should be coming out of the oven shortly, I sure. think. And uh, I'll go check on it. Yeah. But uh, you guys carry on. And uh, we'll see what, what can happen in this oven. Yeah. <laughs> are you ready to dance, or are you? I'll do it on the next one. Yeah, one. yeah. two minutes left. You don't want it to, uh, if you dance, it's uh, drop in the oven. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
the base has come out of the oven and uh, it's cooling here on the rack and we're going to go into the kitchen now and make the topping. So um, leave this here. And you come with me, we'll put these fellows back to work. <laughs> that bill didn't really do anything yet, so we'll have to we'll have to put him to work. Taking it, taking it all in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, oh, that's too hot for me to touch. I'll make supper. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I just want to show you this. I'm bring that down for you. So I'm just going to bring it up to there, so you can see that it's lightly brown around the edges, and that's that's all there is to it. So, we're going to mix up the topping, but before we do that... <laughs> Look at the door. <laughs> oh, there comes Mitchell. <laughs> Hello. I guess it's time for Bill and I to leave. It's nice seeing you. <laughs> Come in, come in, come in. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Joe. Look who's here. And this was not planned. <laughs> no, I was at the beach, so I, the beach? Yeah, and I looked online, I saw the post that said that you were coming down to make butter yeah. tarts. Or someone did, and I said, I did, oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, we're, we're, we're in the middle of it. So don't let me stop you. Oh my god. <laughs> sit down, Ashley. Sit yeah. Ashley McIsaac. The, the, one of the very best, one of the very best. So anyway, what we're going to do next is, uh, you guys are gonna choose whether you want raisins or currants. Close your eyes, Bill. Your hands up, okay. <laughs> uh, what would you suggest? Let's say these. These, the currants? Yeah. That's a very, that's a very typical uh, thing for butter tarts, I think. And so the recipe, I think, calls for half a cup, but I end up always putting more than that. Yep. This is a half a cup measure. Okay. So you try a half a cup and see if you think that it's uh, enough. And right in this bowl here? No. no. Oh, right, right, on oh, right, top. right on top. Right yes. on top. We're going to make the filling, and we're going to pour it over the top. So you don't steal the currants first? Or nope. Nope. You just lay them right down. Do, do I have my, my mic on? I don't have my mic on, so they probably didn't hear any of that, did you? Wait, was it? <laughs> Ashley, yes, it is Ashley. <laughs> he was down at the beach and he decided to come up. So do you think that's enough or should we put some more? A little bit, I think more. A little bit more, right? A little bit more? I think a little bit more. Yeah, like like over here. Get those spots so we're going to show you the, the, uh, the squares. <laughs> well, easy, not too, too much. We'll have to test yeah. these. Mary Jane, just keep the camera where it's at. I'm going to do something to build there. Just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> <Are> you driving? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. I love this rack, too. Is that one of That's Bamper Jeff. <laughs> I'm going to have that a busy is... <laughs> week. <laughs> do you know what? Uh, do you know who the, the local uh, Boyd, oh my God, I can't believe I can't remember her name, from Antigonish. And she uh, she does oh, Bamper uh, Jeff. Yes. Uh, S not Sandra. Uh, no. Sonia. Huh? Sonia Boy. Sonia Boy. Yes. 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 She gifted me two of these okay. at the Perfect. start of Toons and Wooden Spoons. Okay. And, and because of her, Tammy got back into it and had been up un under, under her wing back Perfect. when she started. Okay, let's get this show on the road now. So we're going to need um, a quarter cup of melted butter. Do you want to put that in for 20 seconds in the microwave? I'll put Bill to work. And, and in the meantime, I'm going to turn this down and we're going to go on with the rest of the filling here. So, can we see? See, not really well. You know what? I got to bring it over this way. It'll go down further there. That's it. You, you got go. it, John. Okay. So, uh, we're going to have one cup of firmly packed brown sugar. Yes, there is. I, I think uh, with the brown sugar, it gives it more of a butterscotch hint of flavor. Right there. Yep, that's right. 
So one cup of firmly packed brown sugar, and here is a one quarter cup of melted butter. We lost our spatula. Make me in the sink. Or you get a, grab another oh, white care. one. Oh, I see it in the back, Bill's back pocket. <laughs> Pampered chef. <laughs> <laughs> and two large eggs. Now these are from my neighbor. Well, I get all my eggs fresh from uh, our neighbor. And uh, I asked for two dozen the other day, and they brought three dozen for the price of two. They're so good. Do you want to crack them in there? Or do you, yeah. you, you you trust yourself? So just don't put any shells in there now. Oh yeah, a couple of shells. <laughs> Maybe I should do it. <laughs> Is this the first time the brothers have ever fucked together? Oh I'm no! Kill them. <laughs> you should see the kitchen when we're done. <laughs> a teaspoon of vanilla and. Uh, Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just not gonna measure it, and I always put a little too much in, probably. And actually, you know what? I'm going to take get rid of this for now. Sure. I want you to whisk it. That's pampered chef too. Oh. <laughs> and Probably so is candy. and so is this. And they even come with little covers, and they're measured. They're measured. They're good. Oh my God, she's gonna kill me for doing that so much. But anyway, there. You got it down pat Done. here, John. <laughs> and I mean, butter tarts, butter tarts are um, well, made with no. butter principally. Yes, you know, yes. butter exactly. makes them better. But you can totally make this with parquet margarine or margarine of any kind if you don't have the real thing. It really doesn't make a lot of difference. It's just your, what mm -hmm. you know yourself, no. you know? Oh, that smells good. Too. Okay, now uh, you're going to add a one quarter cup of maple syrup. I have some different maple syrups here. I'm going to use this one. This one is Marguerite Valley, and I'm gonna use a quarter cup of that. And I have another oh, yeah. right here. one quarter cup right there. And you can use a quarter cup of corn syrup, but it's isn't it nice to be Canadian and use that yes. maple syrup? But there's another maple syrup here that I got from, uh, can you see this? I think they're from Ontario. And is there a Lanark County in Ontario? Yeah. Yeah. There's a Lanark County? That's, that's, it's from Crampton's Sugar Camp Pure Maple Syrup and Brule Ooh. Lake. And she's a follower, and she sent me. Uh, I got a little excited. I thought it was dark rum. Exactly. Oh, isn't that the truth? A tablespoon of flour uh, behind you there, <laughs> and I'm going to add a half a teaspoon. Right in there. Right in there, and on top of that, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of uh, baking powder. Put it right there, and just kind of nee, nee, nee. and now whisk that together. And really, that's it. You can smell. Oh yes. If you like butter tarts, you're actually Love smelling them. that now. Love, yeah. Now this original recipe called for the the butter to just be uh, softened, but I like melting the butter and it comes together really nicely. And, and you know, instead of, okay. Now, normally we would cool the base, but we, we haven't, don't have time for that. And now we're gonna switch to this and you're going to like, put that over the top. So that top filling is what makes the butter tart the yes, butter tart. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. And you cook it for about, I think it's 25 or 30 minutes. Where is that at? Uh, 18 to, no, 18 to 20 minutes. But the, the true test of doneness is when you, some people like theirs gooey. If you like it gooey, then you'd probably take it out at 18 minutes. And when you're taking it out of the oven, just give it a little shake, and mm -hmm. if it's really jiggly in the center, okay. really jiggly, like I, I wouldn't like them that way. I put them back in for five minutes, yeah. and then when you take it out the next time, you can see it move gently in the center. Oh. That's the way I prefer. <clears throat> I prefer them. So let's put this in the oven for 
How long? 20, 18 to 20 minutes. 18 let's let's 20 put minutes. it in for 18 and and uh, see how that goes. So there we go, people. How's everybody doing? Aren't, aren't they doing great? <laughs> and guys, there's 383 people watching at this moment. You are wonderful to to uh, to stop in for a visit and a cup of tea. Those taste so good. May Peters. Hi, May. May's in Boston, and she is a cousin of mine, formerly from here in Port Hood. Okay, so into the oven, 18 minutes, and I'll try to get you over here to check for the jiggliness, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Wow. There now. So let's go into the living room. Oh, we have visitors. I love it. Okay. Look, look at that fella. <laughs> All right, and there's Mr. Ashley is right there too. See if I can bring it around. The only time I usually get butter tarts is when there's like one left over in the car in the summer and it's always wet. <laughs> somebody left in the car, right, from a little I, plastic thing. I can remember those small packages yeah. Yeah. And that you'd buy at the corner store and there'd be two butter tarts. Yeah. Yeah. And they were good. They were so delicious. Anyway, I don't even know who made them. I don't even see them anymore, right? So what, what do the currants do underneath it? The currants, uh, see, a typical butter tart is either made with no filling, filling by mean fruit or nut, yeah. right? <clears throat> but a true uh, butter tart, is, uh, the filling is walnuts or currants or raisins, mm. or you can make them into pecan bars by adding, uh, putting pecans in there, mm. or you can have a combination of all of them if you like a lot of filling, but it would soak up a lot more. But uh, I was telling the viewers a little while ago that there was some... Um, I have, my grandson is downstairs, Mitchell's oldest. He's got a severe nut allergy. So we're not dealing with any nuts today. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, folks. <laughs> Didn't want to say. <laughs> anyway. I couldn't stop myself. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So there now. So are we going to have some more music while that's baking? Or are we going to have some steps? I'll play the piano with Troy. Well, the, the problem I is... We got it. You found one? Yeah, also oh, yeah. Just reels. <laughs> so let me have a look and see what view is on this camera right I'll now. I'll make sure I'm not going to, like, knock your crystal down. I saw yeah, that one you away. saw that show? Yeah. Oh, my God, Ashley. Yeah, maybe just... There, Mitchell, you can, yeah. you can uh, have a look. Like, yeah. like the regular...
people. <laughs> See now, I've got to turn myself on here. I just want to look at the comments and the hearts and uh, awesome dancing. Isn't that wonderful? Hi, Bev. How are you? <laughs> and uh, lots of talent there. Isn't that the truth? Just look, look, seriously, just look at that living room. This is Cape Breton. This is Cape Breton and all of that talent. My God, I love it. There's, now there's 409. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how is the beach, Ashley? It was nice. I was a little bit cautious compared to last week. But oh, yeah. uh, I was tracking uh, since a few weeks uh, sharks that were coming up from uh, Long Island. And so they were supposed to be around here. And, and when you can track that there's, you know, 12 or whatever, those are only the ones tagged. So we know there's right. lots of them out there yeah. now. So I, the thing about Port Hood Beach is you, you don't usually have to go out very far. It's just a nice, sandy it's, beach. It, so yeah. I enjoyed it. I had a great time. But I can't see me going way out and about and swimming these days. Uh -huh. I don't think so. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. It's we, had, to we had a little incident in our waters uh, down near Inverness and whatever. Mitchell, are you leaving? <laughs> he tried. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to bring Asher over? Asher's asleep. Oh. So I was going to go back and check to see if he's See, I'll bring him over and say everybody would love to see him. Right. Thanks, Mitch. Yeah. Thanks, Mitch. Uh, you can't beat Port Hood Beach, though. It's beautiful. It's, it's you know, I, I brought I brought our viewers to the beach one day. Oh, yeah, you just I, yeah. One day, maybe it was in June. It was just kind of a an, an idea that's, that, that popped into our heads. And with the internet around here, we did not know if it could even happen or last that far. So we went in the car, had, had everybody in my camera, <laughs> go out driving down East Street and we all the way down to the shore. And... I think it was in June, or maybe it was even May. I'm not sure, but oh my God, it was it was such a the waves were washing in. There was such a beauty about just listening to that. It was just mesmerizing, and and the people were just loving it. They were really loving it because so many of them have been. Oh yeah, exactly. You know, housebound. Housebound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Housebound and not able to get you know out. All of that. Yeah, I mean, I've been housebound in an apartment in Windsor. Which, oh my God! You no, know, we got some beaches there in you know, Kingsville and stuff, but I was just waiting to get here. And the first thing I did when I arrived at Cape Breton was go straight to Port Hood Beach. I know mm -hmm. you called me on your way, yeah. and you, as you said, you said, oh, "I'm heading to the beach." I was at the Port Urban Beach. Center. You stopped in on the way just to say hello, and that's where you're at. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm that is the fisherman's quaff to pick up some cook lobster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how long are you staying home, Ashley? You've got a few gigs that um, are that have been sold out. Yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure how late in September, but until almost the last week of September. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that <clears throat> is wonderful. Nice to have you home. Oh, it's so nice to have you home. You need to move back <laughs> to Nova Scotia at least. Someday. Uh, you know, for professional musicians it's still not over the pandemic so by mm -hmm. next march we'll hopefully be able to get touring across the country and i may center myself in ontario till then of and course once, once i get on the road i don't really need i'm going to work a lot so i don't need to have a particular base in ontario so i'll, I'll look for a place down here then yeah yeah uh yeah we're also so proud of you mm -hmm. so yeah. proud of you anyway guys uh Double fiddles. Double fiddles. Oh mm -hmm. my god, they've been playing some beautiful music and the harmonization. Oh my god, I just love it. So Such much fun talent. to watch your show. Like it's it's been so it's so great to see real Cape Breton cooking and hospitality online. Yeah. So Aww. for anybody who's out there that uh, hasn't told their friends it is the best thing. It's fabulous watching your show. <laughs> and such a dedication right every Sunday. Yeah. Saying down there. Such a big connection. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Aiden, would you close that door? Because I can hear, hear the television. <coughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> are these grandkids or great grandkids? These are grandkids. No great gran no grandkids, grandkids yet. No. no, our oldest grandson is 22. So maybe. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're from the oldest is 22, and the youngest is just a year and a half. So uh, potential of a lot of great grandchildren. I hope. I hope anyway. So, um, 
Anyway, I, are, are there any uh, websites or Facebook pages for, for music for you guys that we can share? Troy has not. Troy? Just, uh, we all have them. Yeah, I would say go, just go to visitkbreton.com. Kbreton.com. Visit kbreton.com. And they have all the events that are listed for anything that's happening for Manning and Ish down to Cape Breton and fiddle concerts. Who looks after that? I think it's probably ran by Destination Cape Breton. Cape Breton, okay. It's a, it's a great site. Yeah, visit And um, I know Mike Little has a has a great yes. page as yep. well. Yes. And he just takes you all around the island and, and what's... And, and I should know his website <clears throat> and I'll look it up before we talk again. But uh, any of those... Destination Cape Breton does a yep. bang-up job of, of promoting Cape Breton Island, for sure. We got to do the Lobsterlicious tour. Yeah, Ashley, what do you fun. think of this fellow's hair? Does that remind you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, he's got lots Early of curls. And, and, uh, uh, what would I'm we be, sure. third cousins? Uh, to you, uh, so you, uh, your father and Cecil are first cousins. So the kids and me so would be you, second, second cousins. So second cousins to our kids, and you and Ivor would be third cousins. Third or second and third? Second and third, I guess it's a, a yeah, yeah, a I down the uh, generation. People in, uh, not in Cape Breton don't know what that means. Yeah, I know. But it's probably a third cousin once removed, once removed. or something right. like that, and I'm yeah. not really good at that. <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah, it's crazy. But anyway, you why don't you just... Uh, I, it'll he I'll hear it. Yeah. I'll hear it. <laughs> But uh, another another few tunes would be decker. incredible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, try. John, did you bring your fiddle?
Oh, my God. How do you get better than that? <laughs> we miss the air conditioner, though. For God's sakes, have a drink of that water. <laughs> it's, it's so cold. And um, it's the water is cold, yeah. not the house. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just going to take you over to the kitchen for a minute, people. I, um, I'm just going to check on this for a minute. Now, uh, at 18 minutes, it was very jiggly. So I'm just going to take it out. I put it in for, it's been in for another minute, but I just want to show you what I mean. Let me turn this down. So you see what I mean? It's still very jiggly. So that's going into another five minutes and possibly even more than that. So just, just watch yourself and see what you think. So, uh, and Asher is here. Come on over here, Asher. You gonna come and see grandma for a minute? No. No? You're not coming with grandma? Who's that? Who's that? Who's in there? Who's that? Who is it? Huh? Who is that? Huh? Is that Asher? No. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Hey, Mama. Hmm? Can you hmm? say Mama? I think he knows he's on TV. He knows that he's on TV, so you, <laughs> you zippered up, haven't you? Would you come with me for just a minute? No. No. Huh? He, daddy's boy. He's very much daddy's boy. But isn't he beautiful? I just woke up. He yeah, I just, just woke, woke up. up. Come and see close up this handsome boy. There you are, Asher. Can you blow kisses to Asher in the camera? Blow kisses. Do you do you want some chocolate chips? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that'll do. That'll do the trick. Build the promise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll get the thing. I just put the tea on. Mitchell, if you can get that, um, you guys. I'm gonna shut this tea up. Who's gonna have tea? Does anybody want tea on this hot day? Number one. No tea there. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. You're on camera. Oh, what, yeah. what do you want? No. I said we'll fake it. <laughs> oh, is that what you meant? Oh, I'm slow on the draw. Everybody else is going, oh yeah. Welcome to live TV. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dripping. No, it's, uh, you're fine. Hi, 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 Che. Does anybody know what hi, Che means? It, it's hot. It means it's hot? Yeah. You play Do you think that you could be Hi-Che, louder yeah, than the air conditioner? Probably. Probably? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I, I, think, I think you should turn it on. Yeah. You know that? Yes. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. High boat. Yes. High boat. Yes, that's right. That is the other expression. You're good? Yeah. Okay. What, four minutes till they're ready? They're ready, and uh, I'm going to just check them now. I'm going to think, I'm putting the mat back in for five minutes. I'm just going to give it a little shake here. Gosh, I want to start her. Yep. Well, thank you making up. <laughs>
I am on. How's everybody doing? Are you loving this as much as I am? What a treat to have these people in our midst. So I just want to show you the finished product. So I had it in for 18 minutes and then a further five minutes and then a further three minutes for it to be at the jiggle level that I like it at. <laughs> So we have to let them cool, so unfortunately I won't have them with our tea today. Um, but I, ha I do have a cup of tea. I'm gonna have a little slurp with all of you. A strupak. See my beautiful mug? And that was a gift from uh, the O'Coin family from Dartmouth. Uh, Michelle O'Coin uh, and her sister and her mom uh, dropped in on their way to Shetty Camp from Dartmouth and gifted me a couple of weeks ago with this beautiful, cup that I could have and have my tea in on some Sundays. So thank you to the O'Coin family. I, I just love it and it's perfect. I'm gonna have a little sip right now. And I have a couple of things to tell you about before we finish. Um, here is little Asher has joined me. Oh, look, look Asher. Asher, there, who's in the camera? Who's that? Who's that? Who's this? Is this Aiden? No. Who is it? Asher. Asher. Yes, that's Asher. <laughs> anyway, he's got his chocolate chips, just like I promised. So I'm just going to put the camera down so that you can see the finished product here. And it's still pretty hot. And I'm not going to, uh, it's, it's, it just was a little jiggly in the middle. And uh, when we let it cool for about half an hour, um, well, you can lift it right out by by the parchment paper and we can have it uh, whenever it cools down but the thing that I want to tell you about today was not something that anyone asked me to say on the show I want to make that clear but I got a beautiful little parcel from uh, Wendy Hubley or Hubley she's probably from Bedford Nova Scotia but lives in Ontario and she works for this company that sells cleaning products and she just wanted me to have some kitchen things as a gift for uh, doing this Tunes and Wooden Spoons show and I thought it was so nice but I absolutely love the product if you like lemon you'll love these cleaning products and it's all natural there's this one it's a lemon aid all natural can you see that all surface cleaner and it's it is it really does work the dish soap they have dish soap and uh, I'll tell you the information about them if you ever want to look it up yourself. And the prices are really reasonable. And this is, you know, a hand hand wash, kitchen hand wash. I think I think it's they're from maybe Oakville. They might be out of. This is a nice uh, Canadian Garden uh, hand and body lotion. It's really really nice. This is the most expensive thing. I think it was thirty two dollars. The others were eight, ten, twelve, something like that. If you want to look them up, uh, they are at lemonade.ca that's lemon l-e-m-o-n dash a-i-d-e dot c-a that will get you to their website and then also they're under mason apothecare and uh i didn't write down that uh, website just because of the spelling but the other one will get you to their website if you're interested because they do ship it all over the place but I thought that that was so nice of her to send that to me and I just wonder I often think when I find something good that I think any other homemaker would love to have in their place um, I want to mention it on the show and they did not ask me to do that it was uh, I just love the smell it cleaned out my microwave and uh, I just loved it. the counters really really nice but anyway I want to thank my guests sincerely Troy and John and Bill can't get any better than those fellas. And Ashley McIsaac for stopping in. I used to teach Ashley when he was a little boy, teaching him step dancing. And I can't say I taught Ashley McIsaac anything. I can tell you that I might have showed him a few steps and he could then, he would do it right away. Just him and his sister Lisa, they're just incredible talents. So it's a pleasure to have Ashley. As far as next Sunday, I don't know yet what I'm making. I think I'm going to make something savory. Can I come back next Sunday? <laughs> you certainly can. Okay. Will sure. you come back? Yeah. 
Because, oh. because you said these uh, butter tarts, you have to let them sit for about a half hour. Yes. I have to get home to my mom's. If you cut one out and you leave it, will they last for a yes. week in the fridge? Oh, yes. You just have to hide it. <laughs> I will make you another pan. No, just one. Just if you hide one for oh, me. You, I, I will. They won't last that long, but they I will don't. be okay. making another one. Okay. Do you prefer pecans or walnuts or currants or raisins? I bet you a pecan. No, not pecans because the little fella. You don't oh, want no, that. no, but he won't be here next Sunday. So I can, you know, I can. Whatever you make, I will come back if next you, Sunday okay. and I'll play for you there. All right. See? How can. How I gotta can, go home to my mom now. Yeah, how can you, you beat oh, that? See. Just a see, wonderful I'm Cape Breton nerve. Huh? And uh, thank you very much, Ashley. Right. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I wonder if you could take us out with one little tune and I'll say goodbye to the folks. Uh, uh, in that line. just a little tune and uh, we'll say goodbye and you continue to play and and I'll, I'll finish up That's it for another week, folks. It was a wonderful day, a hot day, but wonderful guests, and just so spontaneous in a Cape Breton house to have a little visit coming in. So know that you matter so much to me and you matter to everybody else. For these people that give us the music and share their lovely talents with you, and thank you for supporting them. If you can find a CD of Troy's or, you know, please, you know, make a point of, of looking that up on the internet because they're they're great people and very talented. And next week, yes, I knew that Ashley was going to come next week, and I'm so glad that he was able to pop by today. It's just a treat to have him here. And um, but thank you. Love one another. Love one another. And I love you. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye bye. Give it a like and subscribe. Give it a like and subscribe.